Okay. Uh, I'll just try that as an experiment to see what happens here. And uh, I am hearing a bunch of movement. I know there's deer down here, but they went, they went that way, which is on the other side of the creek. They went up on a ridge and gone to Port Knox, Kentucky somewhere. But I'm still trying to find that creek. Uh, hmm. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Right there's a creek, probably about 30 feet away from me, right there. I hear some movement back in there. It'd be nice if I had something thrown at me. Like they're saying, like, hey, man, you get too close. So something tells me I got this oddball feeling that they're in here today somewhere. Can't say where, but I think I got an idea that they could be over at the, where I videoed that one with his back to me. I think they're over in there, so I'm going to kind of wiggle my way over. But I'm just showing you what I'm, what I'm going through here and everything. Like I say, I was talking structures and everything, you know, so you just gotta kind of bear with me on that, you know. How you like the word bear? I was gonna do some whoops, but whoop that I'm starting to learn is a warning to other squads. You're like, hey, watch out, there's a human around. You're about to be stepped on by a human, you know, stuff like that. Oh, there's another one right there. Look at this one. This one right here. See how it's... See how it's pushed under? How it's like held under right there? Let me back it up a little bit here. Look at this. Comes down. All the way down here. And it's put under right there. See, that right there held it. All right. Now this right here was probably by about back in the summertime when that happened. Ooh, I'm getting weird feelings back here, man. Getting real weird feelings. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Whoop! Whoop! I have no idea if that's going to work or not. But, like you say, you don't know until you try. Whoop! Something is moving around. But it's kind of hard to hear because it's wet back here. When those deer took off, I never even heard them. The only thing, I don't think, the only thing that turned me on to them was I seen a flash of white. Hmm, let's try over here. Let's see if I can find that day bed. I think this is it. That's a possible place they could lay right there. Because back in the summertime, they stayed right around the creek area here, you know. I want to show you something I just now seen. Look where something. We got bushes right there, a squash down right there. Okay, that area there. Now squash down. Huh. 
See that wire? See that little white picket fence right there? Someone back here a couple years ago was growing weed back here. And I guess they didn't have a look at it. But, you know, that's the way it goes back here in these flat parts. You know, you just got, you know, you just got to know what's based back here in the woods, you know, back here in the little brush. You know, you got to know what you're looking at. You know, everybody can say, well, yeah, that's a bad, that's a bad, bad, but no. It looks like a day bed, but it might not be. And there is a footprint track. Look right here. Right here, let me show you. Uh, right here. Right here. Right there. Let me get a stick here. Alright, right across here. Down. Right around. Right around there. Uh, let me get a tape measure. Okay, let's see here. We're talking about... Inches. It's a 13 inch track. Okay, I'm on a roll here now. And I'm looking. Now, whoever said there's another track right there? Right here. Now, whoever said that they wa Ooh, mercy. Now, whoever said that they watched their step when they're, young, when they're younger? I, don't, I think they don't. I think they just walk wherever the hell they want to, you know, but as the older they get, they learn to learn certain ways to keep their feet out of, out of the way, you know? That's what I'm seeing. see one way the other way it is it is kind of unusual there's no there's no claw marks no hoof prints and everything and I can't really be sure 100% so I'm not gonna take a guess so I mean it could be nah I'm gonna put that as unknown as far as I can see it I ain't going to make a guess on something that I'm not sure about, you know? I'd be wrong. It'd be saying like, well, yeah, I know it's that. That's where Squatch said. That's where Squatch pushed his paws and everything. But no, it's not necessarily true. Okay, now, this is the trail. This is the trail where I made that recording. Well, up there's that pine tree that I put my audio up against. Everything, you know? And that's where I got the, the tree knock, the whoop. Or the whoop and everything you know and uh I got uh that's where I got that growl right behind me that I didn't know was there. So I'm getting close to the uh day bed. I'm still looking here, you know. Mm, well, can't be sure. I ain't taking no guess. But I do see another new structure. There's paths going all back up through there and everything. And I really don't know here yet. There's a new structure right there. Let me go around the other side of it and show you. They might still be down here. I haven't really messed with them in a while. Yeah, look at this. Look how they got it. Got this maple tree right here. Bent right on over. Got another, got a pine bent that way 
got a limb coming up there, a chunk coming up there, and a little one right there. Uh, and a little one right there going up around. So yeah, it could be a structure. It might. Who you knows? I am starting to see similar looking like footprints, but I'm really not sure yet because that's a buck right there. A buck did that. Uh, freaky. But since I've heard that crow, I ain't heard another word out of him. It tells me that he's the warning signal for him. And it might be the same roof. I'm really not really taking a guess, but I'm pretty sure it's that same damn crow. That was warning them last time I was in here. Well, I got on video flying right at the bedding area with the squatches. You know, and it's pretty damn, pretty damn weird, you know, because on the video, people say, well, I didn't see nothing, I didn't hear nothing. It was just a blow part in the whirlwind. Okay. Uh, it's either on part one or part two of Baby Sasquatch, where I set the camera down and start, let, just let it lay there. Well, the funny thing is, somewhere uh, from the halfway point on to the toward the end of it we had a crow was raising hell coming in and he went right smack to the uh, jars he raised hell the whole time and then when a squatch come in the area he flew off but you didn't see the squatch so that's starting to tell me that he's the eyes and ears for the squatch but of course you got to think, how can that be? Well, it's just a theory of mine, you know? And so far I've been right about that theory that squash were taking, used the crow for the eyes and the ears, you know, and that's how they get away. Like when I first got down in here, I heard a crow and he wasn't doing the regular call, calling like he usually do. He did a certain freak, he did a certain sound, which I heard the exact same sound when I first started getting with these squatches. And I'm thinking that he's the eyes and ears, so that's my theory. I can't say it's fact, I can't say it's fiction. I'm just giving you what I'm feeling, okay? So, let's get back to what we were doing here. Uh, I'm gonna walk up through here. Where's that damn tree at? Is it sitting on? No. I can't remember which tree it is. I'm starting to see tracks going down that way. Matter of fact, I can see some footprints going in that way. Hmm. Let's follow them. Like right here. That track right there. Yeah. Yeah. That track right there. pushed over. Uh-huh. Back in there. Alright, so I'm gonna wing it around. I'm gonna come in from another direction. I still think they're I'm starting to think that they're still down in here. But dang it, I can't find that bed. That's one thing about bad about doing this stuff. You know, you find one spot, you find eight, three day beds right together, then you come back down here again, you can't find them. Yeah, there's a little structure right there. Hmm. You see, like I say, you know, yeah, this. Got this limb here, this limb here, this right here, this stick right here. That could be a, that right there looks like a spot where they lay at. You know, who knows? Possible. Hell, anything's possible nowadays. Alright. I'm starting to see a lot of bent, bent, bent pieces. Let me get down through here. What I can find. 
But yeah, like I was saying, as far as, far as the cloaking goes, you know, there's no way possible that they can turn invisible. None. There's no way. There's no physiology way. People saying, oh, they're from out of spaceships and all this stuff, you know. No, that's not possible. The Squatch is flesh and blood. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it ever will be. Until other, until proven otherwise, you know. It, it just... Right there. It just don't make no damn sense. Squatches are not the super predator. Yeah, I grant you, they're a hell of a predator. From what I've seen of them, what I've heard being out here, they're very intelligent. And I am, I'm being they're staying up ahead of me or something, man, because I'm hearing them. I'm sorry, I'm just hearing them. That's just the way it is. They are here with me now. I got, I got this, I can't shake this feeling. Ever since I got down here, I've had this feeling that they're watching me. And that crow has something to do with it. Like, hey, he's here again. Well, beware of human in there, you know, it's kind of feeling I'm getting, you know. And yeah, some people may say I'm not in the fruitcake, but my guess is I don't care. This is my area. I know this area, like the back of my hand. And there's nothing no one can say to change that as far as squatches in these areas here. You know? That's just the way I said. But anyway, I'll be right back.